Oh, that was good. Good job. Last time on Sailing Bella Chandra, we brought you a second Live Aboard Life Hacks video with lots of great tips and tricks for cruisers. If you're new to the channel, I'm Noelle. And I'm Dan. And we're Sailing Bella Chandra. We're from Nova Scotia, Canada, and now we're sailing around the Caribbean. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, just do so right now. Go right below the channel, look for the big red subscribe button, press that button. The sulfur spring is a remnant of a once active volcano on the island. When the nearby active underwater volcano Kikum Jenny is close to eruption, these sulfur springs will really start to bubble up. How cool is this? We're at the top of an extinct volcano, walking through a rainforest looking for monkeys. It doesn't get any cooler. This lake is what is left of the crater of the once active volcano which formed the island some 10,000 years ago. These Mona monkeys are native to Africa and were imported to Grenada. They could be found in the Grand Atang rainforest near the top of the extinct volcano.
Okay, so we're just heading into the Seven Sisters Waterfall here in Grenada. It's supposed to be pretty amazing. Zeus is raring to go, and we're all very excited. When we were threatened by Tropical Storm Gonzalo moving off the coast of Africa, we decided to move the boat south to the Mount Hartman Bay anchorage, where we enjoyed the local beach bar at Hog Island. We're just leaving Grand Mall today and sailing up to La Ronde Island. Very light winds. We just turned the motor off. Some of our friends are motor sailing, but we decided that we'll just tack it and take her easy. Dan's got the fishing line out. I told him today if we don't catch anything, that's it. We are done with fishing. <laughs> we had to buy ourselves a new Grenada flag. Our old one from the pack of multi-flags for the Caribbean died pretty quickly. Well, we think maybe it was banging off the spreaders. Could have been part of the issue. As you can see, we are missing one of our lower shrouds. We had it snap on us while under heavy roll back in Grand Mall. I mean, it was one of those nights that the boat was just rocking like this back and forth, really extreme. And uh, we heard a bang when we came up on deck to see, and one of our shrouds was basically fallen and stuck half in the water. I think it was probably too loose. There is a rigger here in Grenada who does rod rigging. It's hard to find any that do rod rigging, but this guy is a rod rigger and he has a cold press machine for doing the work, but he did not have the rod in stock. We rigged up this Dyneema line as a temporary lower shroud until we can get the replacement rod, which has to come by mail and it won't be here for a month. We did happen to have this spare turnbuckle, which we purchased in St. Augustine at this store called Sailor's Exchange. It's a, like a used boats parts place, and uh, we got this for a really great deal as a backup for when something happened, and lo and behold, <laughs> this happened. So we actually uh, are able to use this, this spare piece of hardware we bought for very little money. So it just goes to show if you can find spare parts for cheap, you should grab them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this week's video, leave us a like or a comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Just go below this video, look for that big red button, press subscribe. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, now's a good time to do so. Patreon's a place where you can give back. If you like what we do and you want to support us, that's where you do it. Thanks for watching. See you Bye. later.